What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another beautiful day here in the great state of Texas. We are heading out to the garage right now as it all gets dim to continue working on the RTR Spec 2. We have the driver's side head here. It's already cleaned off. Myself and Nate did it. Well, Gabby was sleeping. Everything is looking pretty good. We got all the old gasket off of it. We got the black sealant off of the sides here where the timing chains and everything will go through. We cleared off the top, even our intake and exhaust port. So everything on here should be good to go. I got my cucumbers. Nobody cares. Over here we have our new head gasket. This came from LMR. So we're gonna be popping that on here in just a second. Line up everything here with the holes. There you go. Ow, my stomach, I scratched myself. Alrighty here. Ow, I hit my head. Alright, there we go. Would you stop? <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is start putting our bolts in here to the head. Once we put these in here, we got to put them hand tight and then torque them down. We're torquing. No, nobody is... Technically, we're torquing, but you always say it like twerking. Now, these are all going to be tightened down to 25 newt meters, which is... What do I have on there? Like 18.5 foot-pounds. Same pattern that we do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop it! It doesn't mean turn your back and stare into the camera. Yeah, no, don't do that. Next go around, we're doing 40 newton meters or 29 and a half foot pounds of torque. got everything down we need to do okay, a, a additional 90 we're not gonna be able to do it I'm gonna have to get an extension hold on pause stop, stop. Oh! <laughs> that did not feel good. is this supposed to make that noise I don't know maybe I need to put a pipe on it let me clean the pipe That's what she said once we do that, it says to do an additional 90, so a total of 180. Then why did you just go in a circle? Because you gotta do it in a system, girl. Alright, there we go. The head is done. <laughs> Stop staring at the camera! So we got the driver's side head on. Looking good. Gasket in place, so hopefully there's no leaks there. Everything's been torqued down and angled the way it needs to be by the professional Gab herself. Professional twerker. Um, now we just need to get the other pistons in so we can start putting on that head and put on our oil pan. We're almost there, kiddo. We are almost there. Is there more twerking in my future? Here are our comp cams. Here you can see all our specs here on the, this. This is our left exhaust. Now, if you were to ask me what any of this stuff means, I have absolutely no idea, but Drew does, and Comp Cams does, and this seems to be pretty good. And these don't require us to change out any of our springs, any of our lifters, or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these in and get started. Like with everything, it always says to lube it up real good. So this here needs to be in a 12 o'clock position. So let's go ahead and rotate this puppy around. All right, that looks to be 12 o'clock to me. This thing wasn't sitting on an angle. This is the left-hand exo exhaust side. So if we go ahead and open this up, see this package in here fairly nicely. Got that so it doesn't bust on the sides. Wrap, there's some lubricant in there. And inside, you get your specs here. This is letting us know this is our left exhaust side. 
Apparently this card here is for our warranty. We have this tag here that says to use comp cams oil. Warning failure to use comp cams break-in oil or comp cams break-in oil additive during the break-in process could result in the premature camshaft failure and may void your camshaft warranty. All right, we don't want that to happen. We got our insulation and degree procedures here, which is kind of nice. And then you give you stickers, because who doesn't need stickers? And protect your basement. Comp Camps features a lineup of advanced lubricants that are designed for maximum performance and protection. So it lets us know what everything is, so we can pick that up if we need it. And so here's our camshaft. We see we got uh, etched in here. I don't know if you can see that. So this number here is etched into your cam, and then you match this up with your number that your serial number that you have in your box make sure it's the correct cam so we're going to go ahead and lube this up and then drop it in with each one of your caps again i don't know if you're going to be able to see this but there's a number here to let you know what order in the sequence it is and also an arrow to let you know which direction it needs to be facing we had pulled this off of the old cam so we can put in this front piece same way we did everything else we put in a little bit of lube in here then I'm going to back up with a little bit of oil, not that I have to, but just in case. And she drops in just like that. We got another deliverer. So right here I have our new cap bolts for the cams. So the original bolts, comps says to replace those when doing this talked to Drew he said usually with the bolts like this it's best to do it so we went ahead and got brand new ones I will say this these things cost me about 50 bucks and it's because I had to get 40 of them I was able to get them for 50 bucks normally they're like two dollars each but I went to taskaparts.com they have them listed there as you can get them for a dollar 25 I didn't feel like waiting to get these in from Tasca so I went ahead to my local dealer well one of my local dealers Joe Myers Ford and I was able to pick those up. They matched the price for me. They got them in today So that's really good. So we can finish doing that We have our boundaries oil pump gear in the car already Well, we went ahead and got the crankshaft timing sprocket for the coyote as well. So that's in there We'll look at that and a little bit more bolts This here is the new wiring harness from lethal performance for our 18 to 20 intake manifold we got some new NGK spark plugs. And then we also have in here our Boss 302 tensioners, as well as our new tensioners for the top belt. I don't know what any of that stuff is called, so I'm not even going to pretend. So we'll be putting those in, but we're first going to start off by finishing up the cams and putting those new bolts in. So I'm going to start unpackaging all of these and putting them in here. What it says from comp following their instructions, it says to put them in, get them kind of snug up in here, start doing one turn on each one of these in the formation. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. Go ahead doing one turn, making sure everything gets seated. Once everything is where it needs to be, then we'll go through and start torquing it down. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all that, so we're gonna go ahead and leap forward in three, two, one. Huh, what do you know, it actually worked. I've been watching the Strat Man do that for years. I wasn't actually sure if it would work. Okay, so what we're gonna do now that we have everything seated up, we're gonna go back through and torque everything down to spec, which is gonna be 4.4 foot pounds of torque, according to comp cams. We got everything torqued down. We're gonna go through and add our angle in here. It says to add an additional 45 degrees of torque angle to this. So using my special mathematics tool, we're gonna get this done. All right, and there we have it. Everything is buttoned up, ready to go. Now we can move on to something else. Okay, so when we initially took the whole engine apart, we did not take the cam sprockets off. So I'm gonna go through, take these off, so we can get them transferred over onto the new cam. Right, so using our 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can break these loose. It's probably a lot easier when it's on the fucking engine. Okay, since, uh, I didn't take these off when they were on the engine. They're a little harder to get off right now. So I'm going to use the impact to get these off, which I know probably isn't the best, but it's our only option at this point. Ah. And that works super fast. Ah. 
We got these new tensioners. These are the Boss 302 that came in, the Boss 302. They're supposed to be better for our new billet tensioners that we're gonna be getting from MMR. And along with that, we got the replacement for this. I didn't realize that was gonna come in it, but that is good. So we're gonna pop these ones here out and drop one of these new ones in. Huh? That was actually pretty easy. I don't know if I needed to put oil on it. The old one had oil on it, so I went ahead and dropped it on there. It has the new O-rings on here, so all we have to do is drop these things in. Pretty straightforward. All right, as we get ready to put everything in here together, you're gonna notice here on the intake side, we have one chain link here that's darker than the rest that's gonna line up right there. And then over here on the exhaust side, we have this hash that's gonna line up in between the two darker colored links. That's how you know to set this chain up. So Drew and I are having trouble lining this one up here on the, uh, what's this, intake? Intake port. So what we're trying to do is, Drew came up with the idea of marking here on the gear and then also here on the camshaft to line it up. We tr tried moving it with a wrench as much as we could, but unfortunately we can't get to where we need. So we went ahead and we put the timing chain back on here and we're slowly turning it and using the pressure from this to line everything up where it needs to be. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so we went ahead and continued to work on the engine. We got a little bit more stuff done, but I'm not gonna put that in this video because it's already getting to like 12 minutes already and I like to keep these between 10 and 15 for you guys that way you can look at them and do it real quick and get done what you need to get done. So in the next video we're going to be putting on our chain guides and setting the timing up on the engine and by then we should have our pistons and ready to put everything else back together. So hopefully next video, next two videos, have it up and running. But until next time, peace.